I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to learn a method of rounding numbers to nearest hundred and then finding the value by which they change. So the question here is round the following numbers to nearest hundred and then find the change in value. We have four numbers to work with. We'll first round them to nearest hundred. So let's start rounding them to hundreds first and then we will find whether they increase or decrease and what is the change in value, correct? So step number one for us is to round these numbers to nearest 100. Whenever you round numbers to nearest 100, you need to check value on tens position, right? So this is the value which we will check and then round. For the first number, which is 137, tens place is 3. Since 3 is less than it rounds to 100, right? So it rounds to a lower value close to 100, which is 100. 344. Should I round to 300 or 400? Well, it depends on this position, which is 4. That means round to a lower number, and that is 300 in this case. Next example. 1's place is 5, 10's is 0, 100's is 6. To round it to nearest hundreds, we check tens place. Tens place is 0, which is lower than 5. So we just make these two terms 0 and write it as 1600. So 1605 could be round to 1600 or 1700. We are rounding to lower 1600 since at tens place we have a number which is less than 5. 2950, this number has 5 in tens place, 5 or more round higher. Now what is next? 2950, so it should be 900 or more means 1000. 1000 means the number is 3000. Do you get the idea, right? So that is how you round. After rounding, let us see whether the numbers increased or decreased. In First three examples, 137 to 100, 344 to 300, 1605 to 1600, we find that the numbers have decreased, right? So there is decrease in value of the number when we rounded the first three numbers. Can you tell me the reason? Well, in tens place, we had a number which was less than 5. In the fourth here in tens place we had 5 or more, so the number increased. So we have increase in value. Now let us find the change. Change is difference between these two, right? 137 take away 100 is 37. 344 take away 300 is 44. 1605 take away 1600 is 5. 2950. Now that has increased to 3000. So we'll take away 2950 from 3000. You can do it on the side also. You can say 3000 take away 2950 and what we get is the number 50, right? So this number has increased by 50, correct? So that is how you can round and also appreciate how the numbers can change when you round to hundreds. Now the question for you is to provide a number with no change. That is to say the change value is 0 when you round to 100. So that is the question for you to do. Think about it. Well, if I say that the number is, let's say, uh, 2500, then since there is no change, this number should be 2500, correct? So that is how you could get some answers. This is one of them, but answers may vary. I hope this example really helps you to understand how to round and appreciate that these numbers may change. Change means they may increase or decrease by some amount. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.